Esto no es un juego. Es la realidad. ¿Te dan puntos extra por esto en el juego? <laughs> My name is on this and um, when I was approached by Sony that they want to make a movie on my life, I want it to be as accurate as possible. I'm representing three criteria in my family name, uh, the gaming in industry and racing drivers and motorsport industry. It was very important to me that everybody was aligned on making the most realistic, accurate uh, movie as possible. Of course, there's some parts which are a bit more dramatized, the family dynamic, but what happened in that movie racing-wise happened. The, I got approached again in 2022. They asked me, look, do you want to be the stunt driver playing yourself? And I was like, yeah, for sure, that sounds, that sounds awesome. Um, it's very unusual to have, what well, it hasn't happened, somebody who has a biopic be made on them and then that person play themselves as a stuntman. It's never been done. And I know racing, that's my world. And I learned a lot from the stunt team because there's some things they tell you. Uh, you have to think a lot more while doing stunts because if I can't see the camera, the camera can't see me. And because I'm the main car, then what, what are we doing? I need to always be the, in, the, in shot. So I loved it. It was a new, completely new industry being exposed to. I loved how I tried to figure out, imagine how they're going to piece certain shots together for the movie. I really enjoyed the time. We met one month before uh, going on set by just by chance. He was filming another movie and I was at Silverstone driving a car that was going to the movie, just testing it. And I texted him and we came down, we met for hours, we were talking. He was asking me a lot of questions, which gave me a lot of uh, confidence in him because we'd only spoken on FaceTime. And now we're talking for real. He wants to know really intricate details of my life. Enough, he gave me enough confidence to know, okay, this person really cares about what he's going to do in next month, filming the movie. So when he was on set, I was fine just going, okay, we interact on set, we talk, we joke, but uh, and he would ask questions still, but I was never there to go, okay, no, you shouldn't say this because I wouldn't say that. It, the script was already at a level where I was happy with what was said and I had enough confidence in him to go, okay, man, do your acting because I don't know acting, but I know driving, I'm gonna focus on the stunts. Yes because there's a lot of anecdotes from uh, the GT series. I mean, you know, when you're watching a race, it's sometimes quite difficult to know, like, what position cars are in. So in the movie, Neil was really intent on using, like, the, the same graphics as Gran Turismo. So we have, like, the positions of where I am at certain times in the race, the, the head-up display, the, the font is the same as, the, as GT, the noises, like, the menu noise buttons um, of GT. So yeah, I mean, GT guys and girls, when they watch the movie, they're going to go, oh yeah, okay, that was that noise, that sound. And even the opening, the opening sequence of uh, Kazunori and how he scans the cars, um, the attention to detail, which is why GT is so popular. There's passion, because when you have a, a creator of a uh, of something, when he, somebody, Kazunori, when he created Gran Turismo, he created because there was nothing else on the market that had anything were, that was at his level of racing game. So he made his own. And that's, you can feel the passion in the game. It's why I play the game, because I know there's so much time and dedication making this correct, not only graphic wise, because it's beautiful, but also physics. It's important to me when I play GT to know when I was a kid as well, that the car that I'm driving is as accurate as possible to the real car. That's the most important thing for me. So I want to imagine what it's like. Maybe I won't have enough money to buy a McLaren F1, but I can certainly buy it in the game and feel what it's like. I still play, yeah. but uh, not for the amount of time that I did 12 years ago. Um, but I still play, just for fun.
I have not enough time. But I would think, I like to think that if I spent the, the same amount of time as I did at GT Academy, I would be faster because I have more experience of what a car feels like or should feel like on the limit. So, but I don't have enough hours to be able to do that. Si pierdo, pierdo más que una simple carrera. Por eso no voy a abandonar. Demostrémoslo.